What's up guys, this is Ray, welcome to Ancient Filmist, and today we're going to be talking about the 2008 Japanese movie, The Magic Hour, directed by Mitani Koki, and starring Sato Koichi and Tsumabuki Satoshi. And I, this movie also stars, it's an ensemble cast, and this movie stars a lot of people you can see pop in and out in a typical Mitani Koki movie, such as Fukatsu Eri, Nishida Toshiyuki, Koinata Fumio, and even Toda Keiko, who some anime fans might recognize as the voice of children's superhero uh, character Anpan Man. The story of The Magic Hour, you know, I feel like this movie was made as a love letter to movies, old Hollywood movies more specifically, and just movie making in general. It's about this kind of washed up actor by the name of Murata, or not washed up, he's unpopular. Nobody wants to hire him. He is pretty bad at acting. He over over hams up every single scene he's into the point that you know when he when he's doing some jobs as an extra or just you know a side character he tries to do it so like ham it up so much that the that the main actors that he's act that he's working with thinks that you know he's trying to steal the show or something or something he just but in, in the end he's just a bad actor he doesn't really know how to go about and you know deliver things naturally but anyways he gets picked up by this director by the name of bingo played by Tsumabuki. And uh, Bingo says that he has a special job for, uh, for Murata, in the sense that he wants Murata to play this legendary assassin by the name of Della Tagoshi. And the thing is, the thing, th this guy is gonna be his first movie. But the thing is, there is no script. They're, they're gonna go into each and every scene guerrilla style. And, you know, the, and that's the concept of this movie that he's making. However, uh, something that we're introduced to at the beginning of the story is that he's actually like, uh, Bingo isn't actually a director. He's actually a guy who got in trouble by the local gang boss and uh, for basically sleeping around with his mistress. And the reason why he wants to, he needs to get Murata's help to play Adela Tagoshi is that the boss is looking for the real Adela Tagoshi. And Bingo claims that he knows who Adela Tagoshi is, that they're, they're homies and all, but in the end, you know, he's just lying out his ass, so he has to find an actor to play the role in order to convince the boss that you know that you know he's legit and to ultimately save his own life. This movie kind of reminds me of an old Hollywood movie by the name of Bowfinger. You guys remember Bowfinger, uh, the one with Eddie Murphy and Steve Martin? It's about you know Steve Martin played a director and he's directing uh, he's directing Eddie Murphy and all these scenes. Except that Eddie Murphy doesn't really know he's in a movie. He thinks that he, everything he's doing is just weird random happenings in his day to day life. And uh, Steve Martin's trying to catch everything on film. Whereas in The Magic Hour, it's reverse in that. Tsumabuki is directing uh, Sato and Sato thinks he's in the movie but in actuality he's in a real life situation with gangsters and gunslingers and all that. So when it comes to the positives of the magic hour I absolutely love the cast and the performances you know and just the way you know with any Mitani Koki movie they're, for the most part they're all ensemble movies with a whole bunch of big names and the way Mitani Koki can make his ensemble cast work together to make a cohesive plot and story and just overall bring uh bring suitable levels of entertainment is just amazing to me. Any movie that you any movie from Mitani Koki you can expect kind of a movie that works and flows almost like a stage play if you will. I think I might have heard somewhere that he might have worked in uh, stage play production at one point in his career. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. But the way the characters move and interact with each other and the way the characters are positioned and framed on screen, you almost feel like, yeah, it looks like a moving uh, stage play. And the characters are full of so much charm. There's so much talent in this cast. I mean, Sato Koichi is an excellent actor who's acted in many films. And Sumabuki Satoshi as well. You know, these two working together are absolutely phenomenal. And Sato Koichi, he is excellent in his role as Murata. I think it's just great how he does so well at portraying a character who just so bad at acting that he hams up every single one of his performances. So it leads to all these hilarious interactions with other characters who obviously are, you know, as far as their characters are concerned, are in the real world. But he thinks he's filming a movie, so he takes his ham his uh, manner his mannerisms that he uses when acting into this real world environment and is absolutely hilarious. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about any specific scenes because there's too many good moments. And then you have Tsumabuki's character, Bingo, who's trying to, you know, keep this fantasy of this, of uh, that, that, that uh, Sato Koichi is in a movie uh, to him while all the while trying to 
trying to keep the peace as to what's happening so that way the facade isn't broken in front of his boss and his boss's boys. And the boss is played by Mitani regular Nishida Toshiyuki, who's absolutely hilarious. He's both scary and cute at the same time. I think that's the majority of Nishida's characters, but this movie is a prime example of that kind of character type that Nishida can play. I also love the set that the story was uh, that the story took place in. It looked like it was straight up out of an old old Hollywood movie, you know, back in the times with the transcontinental accents and all. And the cool thing is that this story does not take place in the in the past. This take this t movie takes place in present time. And so like uh, Murata, he's you know, he you see the world that he's in and it's just like a regular regular city, but then you drive into the town where Tsumabu, where uh, Bingo's in, and it's it's like a blast from the past. The way everyone dresses, it's like a it's like out of an old school noir flick, and the way the 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 architecture of the set. Is a way just the way everything looks and feels. It definitely has that old school Hollywood vibe. And from what I understand, this set was made specifically uh, or specially for this movie. And that's that's some detail that I can absolutely appreciate. As far as the negatives are concerned about the Magic Hour, you know, honestly, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I love this movie from the start to finish. This was actually my gateway movie into uh, Mitani Koki's uh, filmography. You know, I think after watching this, I was instantly hooked. Every time a new movie comes out that has Mitani Koki's name attached to it, I gotta check it out. I always decide I gotta check it out. And that's the case, that's the same case with this movie. You know, overall, it's a definitely must watch, especially if you like movies with a lot of charm, a lot of heart, and a lot of a lot of layers in its meaning behind the way everything was crafted. This movie has all of that. And something that I like about Mitani Koki's movies, I'm not sure it, if it's the case with all his films, but I know it's the case in a good number of his films that the, some of the characters that that uh, that uh, in his movies pop in and out of other movies in his filmography. For example, uh, Sato Koichi's character Murata in this movie, you see him in The Ghost of a Chance. He's playing the same character. He's also Murata there. They call him by name there. In the same kind of role, he plays a, a kind of a bad actor in that movie as well. And then you know you have Nishida Toshiyuki's character in *The Ghost of a Chance*, Rokube, who pops in uh, to the Kiosk conference. You know he's there because that takes place during the times of you know of the samurai and all, and he pops there when he's still alive. So, so that's something that's something I enjoy about Mitani Koki's movies. At least the good number of them I can remember characters popping in and out of. But yeah, check out this movie definitely if you want to see a comedic interpretation slash love letter to old school Japanese uh, to old school Holly movies by Japan you know this movie is I, I guarantee you that this movie will entertain you yes those are my thoughts on the magic hour what you guys think please let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and if you really did my content please know you can support age films be patreon from as little as one dollar and yeah that's about it for me guys and as always everyone thank you so much for watching hope to catch you all again in the next video take it easy